We got the P.O. box. I added some fun scrunchies. Okay, we're at the beach. Hey guys, it's Julia here, back with another video in the Jewel Swim series. If you are new to my channel and haven't been keeping up, make sure you click the I so you can catch up and binge watch all the videos. But in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys some of the finalized swimsuits and the changes that I made to them based off of the samples that I showed you guys in the last video. And we're also gonna go to the Jersey Shore and have a little photo shoot with the samples to get everyone excited for the launch of the brand. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe for new videos every Saturday at 3 p.m. EST, 12 p.m. PST, and hit that bell notification button because you know how YouTube can be. And make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you're enjoying the series and want to see more. Now let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, so I have some updates on the bulk order that I will show you guys in a bit, but because it's coming so soon, I have to figure out how much I should charge for shipping. So I have this little poly bag, I forget what they're called, from an Etsy order that I got the other day. And I filled it with one of the sample suits. And then this is supposed to be like a makeshift cover up scrunchy headband and like a little thank you card from another brand i think this is about the same weight because this is a mesh shirt and i'm doing mesh cover-up skirts which i don't know if i told you guys about but spoiler alert i'll show you guys them in a bit so i'm putting all these back in that poly bag so that way i can get a good estimate of how much to charge for the shipping because the way will be similar to this so i could just estimate based off of what they give and then i can just charge a flat fee and it's not going to be anything crazy so we're we're gonna go and get them weighed. So it's the next day, ignore my wet hair, I just showered. We figured out the shipping cost and estimates yesterday, but today I'm going to the post office to open up a PO box. So that way there's a return address on all the packages in case of returns and just packages getting lost, you need a return address. So we're gonna do that now. We got the P.O. box. Yay. I mean, mm -hmm. talk about like historic. Wait, and... I don't know if I'm doing this right. Is there just one key? No, I got it. <gasps> oh, so cute. <laughs> oh, is there a hand out there? There's a person. There's a person. <laughs> Hi. Hi. You're on candid camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it worked. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that was so cool. That was adorable. Okay, so I have some major updates on the finalized swimsuits. Basically, I filmed this clip a while ago and somehow the beginning of it cut off. So I'm going to just be like introing you guys in this outfit that I'm wearing right now, but it's going to switch to a tie dye top and that was the original clip but the beginning cut off and the beginning is pretty important so here i am future julia coming in so i'm going to show you the finalized swimsuits that i made changes to based off of the samples and i'm going to be showing you guys the finalized solid color and print colors and we have a little surprise at the end of some accessories that i added on so the first swimsuit that i updated is this one it's our only one piece and the only thing i changed about it besides the print obviously and the solid color. We made it more minty green and it looks way more tie-dye. I love it so much more than the original sample, which was this one. So the only thing I actually changed about this one piece is I made the bottoms more cheeky coverage rather than thong coverage because I feel like it just looked a little funny. So now it's cheeky coverage and it looks so much better. I love it way more. And the next swimsuit I'm going to be showing you that I changed is a purple print and solid color. We didn't change anything to the purple solid color because I really liked it the way it was in the samples, but we made the purple tie-dye print a little bit more vibrant. So you'll see in the next clip that I originally filmed the corrected print for the purple one and the updated swimsuit. So back to our original programming. But I really like how I changed it to the drawstring top because the drawstring really matches the purple bottoms really well. And you'll see in a second that I incorporated the drawstring in something else which will really match the top so nicely. So the next purple one I tweaked ever so slightly. I changed the little circles on the bottom of the bikini to the hearts to match the top. I just thought that overall looked better to have the matching part in the top and the bottoms. I mean, you can always mix and match the tops and bottoms from the other swimsuits on here, but I just wanted to try to make it correlate a little better in my opinion. I don't know if I've mentioned this already, but all of the bathing suits are reversible. So as you can see, there is the tie-dye side, but inside of 
of the bathing suit, there is a solid color, which is either mint green or purple. And I really love that about these bikinis that they are so versatile. You have like a two in one bathing suit. So even though they might be a little bit on the pricier side than the last bikinis I was selling, you actually get two suits out of this. And I personally think they're even better quality than the original bikinis I was selling on the boutique store. But that's just my personal opinion. So I added three really fun accessories to this because I felt like, yes, the bikinis are great alone, but I personally like to accessorize things. And I thought you guys would too. So I added some fun scrunchies in all the colors of the bikinis and some fun headbands in all the colors of the bikinis. So you can match your headband or your scrunchie with your bikini and even better. Because a lot of the bikinis are very cheeky, I understand sometimes it can feel a little uncomfortable to walk around with your booty out on the beach or at the pool or wherever you are. So I created some cute drawstring cover-ups which match the drawstring shirt. See what I was doing there? It all ties in. Get it? It all ties in, literally. So you literally get to have your cake and eat it too with this. You get to have your perfect tan and not have weird tan lines on your butt and be able to have a sense of modesty when you're just chilling and walking around the beach. I was trying to make this as practical and useful and fix all of the problems that I personally find in bathing suits within this because I love cheeky bikinis, but I wanna be able to like walk around the boardwalk without having my booty out and still look cute and match my whole bikini outfit together without putting like an ugly big old t-shirt on. And these skirts literally do that. And I feel like honestly, you could use them in regular life if you wore like a, what do they call them? A bodysuit underneath. Or you could wear like the one piece bikini as a bodysuit underneath. There's so many fun, versatile ways to use these bikinis. And you can even use the drawstring top as an actual top or the tie top as like a cute crop top. And you can also use the sporty top as like a sports bra. Like these are literally more than just swimsuits in my opinion. So I really do think they are worth it. They're so cute and they're gonna last you a while because they are such great quality. Like I did not skimp on the quality guys. I made sure. So they should be here in the next few days, but I'm gonna keep you updated with all the stuff that I'm doing to prepare for the launch because I have a lot lot to do guys we have so much to get ready for this and i want to continue to keep you guys in the loop so you guys really get to know what goes into this good morning guys it is august 15th i just rushed to get ready because i'm about to go to brunch with my friends and then head to the beach and i'm totally running late but i just wanted to update you real quick on some exciting news so I posted the first vlog in the Jill Swim series and you guys have been loving it so much. And like I said, I'm going to brunch and then I'm going to the shore because I'm gonna be taking some content. I don't have the official bikinis yet, but I'm gonna be doing some content with the samples. I have them in this bag. And I'm gonna do a few TikToks maybe. I actually edited two TikToks last night that are ready to go up. I'm gonna post one of them today. And then I'm gonna post a picture on Instagram of one of the boutique bikinis to start promoting. And I wanna show you guys this real quick quick but i actually oh i don't know why it's not clickable i'm gonna have to edit that but i actually closed down the site site yesterday so that I can prepare it with the new bikinis instead of just the boutique ones. I don't think I'm going to continue to sell the boutique ones once I get the new bikinis because I feel like that kind of defeats the purpose of it being my personal bikini brand. So I wrote, add your email to our newsletter to be notified when the store goes live of Jewel Swim's new custom bikinis designed by Julia or DM Julia Gilman on Instagram for the password to shop our boutique swimmer collection now, which we're not going to continue the boutique swimmer collection after I get the new ones. But now I got to run because I am so late and I feel bad. Okay, we're at the beach. We've been at the beach for a while now, like maybe like two hours or so. I just put on one of the sample bikinis and we're gonna snap a few pics, get some flat lays, chill here for a little. We love a good content day. We love a good content day. Samara's bikini's cute though. Not Jewel Swim. Jewel Swim, but. <laughs> but still cute. Yes. Try. Okay, so we just took some pictures in this suit. This is like my favorite one. And I'm gonna switch suits and then we're gonna do a few pictures down by the beach because we're like kind of by like the houses right now. And we'll do a few pictures. I'm gonna mix and match tops and bottoms. I'll show you by the beach or like by the ocean, I mean. And then we'll do some flat lays and I'll show you guys that. Okay, so we went and took photos in this bikini and when we came back, my Whole Foods bag that was holding all my bathing suits and my camera was completely gone and all my stuff was dumped out, which is really weird. And now my camera's all sandy and I feel like there's sand in the lens which is like really bad. 
Okay, so I got the flat lays done and we're gonna end the shoot with this bikini right here. It's so sunny, I like, can't even see. We're getting dinner, finally. So hungry. We're sitting in front of sushi. Okay, so it is the next day and I'm back home and I forgot to end the vlog off last night So I wanted to end it off now I will have another drill swim vlog up next week where you guys get to see the actual Bikinis in real life because they're coming so soon So make sure you catch that next Saturday at 3 p.m. EST 12 p.m. PST And if you're not already subscribed to my channel Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification button So you never miss another one of my videos and make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you're excited to see the bikinis and I will either see you in next week's video or you can click my previous video at the end i love you guys so much bye